All right, let's do another one now. And this time, we're going to have a waiter. Now, he serves people, right? Has to do with food. And we'll start with our pencil again. And let's see, we'll have him holding a tray. So we'll have to start his head way down here. And you won't see his whole body either. We'll have a sort of a torso shot. That'll be his body. And his arm, well, his arm is over here. And this circle is for his hand. Now, this one here is going to be holding the tray. And that circle will be for his hand, other hand. Now we'll switch to marker and add some detail. Now we're going to make this guy a real zany looking character because he's carrying this tray, stuff's falling off it and everything, and we're going to have his funny mustache and his googly eyes. So let's give him a big nose and circles for eyes. And let's make them different sizes, make it a little funnier. And one eye up there and one eye down here. And let's give him a funny old mustache coming out this way, a little bit that way. I like to take it to the max of my cartoons. And here's his facial outline, and some eyebrows. He looks a little bit like one of the characters from the old time Keystone Cop kind of silent film movies. They used to have these funny kind of noses and I'll say no mouth. We'll leave it just like that. Now if he's a waiter he might be wearing a tux. And let's thicken up. Well you know what, before we do that I'm going to put, he's, he's got a towel over his arm. So I'll put that down first because then we'll be able to overlap it on the sleeve. Just like that. All right, now we see the other side of it coming through this way. Now let's add a little bit of shadow to that. And here's his cuff, and here's his hand. His hand is just kind of out there, fingers. You don't see the thumb. All right, now let's give him a little waiter's jacket, which is just a short little jacket, and then a, a ruffled shirt. And here's the other side of it. Now for the sleeve of the arm that is holding the tray. All right. Here's his cuff. Now this is another interesting hand pose. We're going to have the thumb like that, and the fingers going off this way, and I want them to come out to be just where equal with the thumb. And here's the hand. Because what we're going to do now is put the tray right on the thumb and the fingertips. And now we're going to put some things on it, like some plates. How about a plate coming down, falling off, some over here as well. Maybe a glass that fell down, which is a cylinder shape. And here's some of the liquid and dripping off. Uh, some plates behind it. And you could take it to the max and make your cartoon as funny as you like. And let's see, let's have him sweating like he's uh, a little bit worried about what's going on here. Let's color him in. Try to see humor in every situation. You're in a restaurant, look for these sort of things. Have a black waiter's jacket. All right, let's add a little color to this fellow too. put some red in his cheeks, and I'll tell you what I'll do. You take a look at this, and I'll play some music to go along with this, which I think should be kind of zany, silly music for a guy who's having trouble carrying the tray. Ready? <laughs> 